Does having a snow day make your kids crazy? morning I am at school it's Tuesday morning we actually had no school yesterday because they were calling for winter weather and so our county went ahead and closed school and we ended up getting not a single drop of anything until like yesterday evening so I am at school now I just got here it's about 7 20 and I'm pretty much ready for the day. I've got my morning routine board up. I had it for Monday, but all I had to do was change Monday to Tuesday and everything is ready. So I'm gonna unpack my backpack. I've got some papers in there that I graded yesterday and um, some things that I want my kids to finish, fix, or glue in their literacy journal. And then the rest will have to be filed. But yeah, I didn't do much yesterday. I have been using Windows Movie Maker to edit my videos just because that's what I was familiar with and comfortable with. And so I downloaded another editing software program yesterday and pretty much had to learn how to use it from scratch. So it took me literally from like nine o'clock yesterday morning until like eight o'clock last night but i didn't sit and work on it like consistently all of those hours um i did start at like four what is that i sat and worked on it from like nine until two like non-stop got up to go to the bathroom got up to get something to eat and then after that, it had to render, which I'm not used to. And so that took forever. And then once that was done, I had to get it on YouTube. And it was just a huge learning process, a long day of learning. And so now I just have to get used to that editing program. But I must be in a chatty mood this morning. So I'm gonna get off here and get some work done before my kids come in. And I'll check back in with you guys probably during my planning today. Does having a snow day make your kids crazy? I have been doing my M-Class testing this morning and I went over the rules and procedures and routines for this morning very clearly. I gave my kids lots of independent work to do and I still only had four kids do what they were supposed to do. So I gave them a piece of candy and a dojo point and then I have three kids sitting at the silent lunch table because they did absolutely nothing in 40 minutes. I just don't get it. Even after reminders, even after taking points away. So I guess if they don't finish it tomorrow, they'll be taking it outside to recess. I don't know what else to do. So I am in my room, my kids are at lunch. I am about to go make some copies for my economics unit today. We're gonna be learning about wants and needs. And so we're gonna make a T-chart and then I've got some pictures that have wants and needs on them and we are going to sort those together as a class. And then we're gonna do the scoot activity that I showed you guys the other day where I put wants and needs around the room and then they have a recording sheet and they have to match the number with the card and tell if it is a want or a need. So I have 19 students in my class and I got all but six done for the Dibbles benchmark which I feel pretty good about. I wanted to get them all done, but I have two kids absent, so I got all but four, I guess, if you wanna look at it that way. All right, so I'm gonna make some copies and eat, and I'll see you guys soon. What's your three? 
Well, my kids did the needs and wants activity where they had to walk around and match the card and tell whether it was a need or a want. And I wanted to go over these, but I didn't get a chance to. I just posted the little task cards around the room in different places. I've got some all on the cubbies here. All across through there. I have some back there on that shelf. And then over here. And they did pretty well with it. They have just been so hyper today and it's really stressing me out. They are in library and I am working on, well, I'm just looking at my plans to make sure I am ready for math this afternoon. I'm doing math groups. And <clears throat> we are gonna get to go outside today because the sun is shining and it's much warmer, not warm, it's not warm at all, but it's warm enough to go outside. I think it might be in the 40s today, which is way better than the teens. So I am going to work on my plans. I need to make sure I have some things prepared tomorrow. We are planning on taking our kids on a field trip at the end of March, I think. And so I need to fill out a field trip request form. I'm gonna go down to the office and get one of those and work on that because I have to turn it in by tomorrow and get a note ready to send home for parents so that they can start sending in money for our field trip. We are gonna go to a play and see Click Clack Moo and I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost, like less than $5 probably per student. So I'm gonna go do that make sure my math is ready for this afternoon, look over my plans for tomorrow, and I need to write down in my calendar that I have guidance on Friday because I was supposed to have it yesterday, but we had a snow day. So it'll be Friday this week. And we don't have school Monday because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and we have guidance on Mondays, every other Monday. So we've missed three Mondays. I'm hoping this afternoon goes pretty smooth so I can pull kids over to finish up their Dibbles, I think that's just stressing me out on top of everything else. Paisley's got gymnastics tonight because it's Tuesday. So I'm probably gonna leave here at four o'clock. I have a few things I need to return at the outlets before I take Paisley to gymnastics, which is right, the outlets are right near where she takes gymnastics. So it'll be really convenient to just do it all. So. I am going to go do that. I've got to go down to the office because I cannot forget to do that field trip form. So I'm going to go do that and I will touch base with you guys after school. I just got back to my room. I totally forgot I had a a school improvement team meeting after school today and I had car riders and my hair is looking like a mess um, so I had to take car riders out I was out there till 3 and then I had a school improvement team from 3 to 4 so I'm just now getting back in my classroom my plan was to leave at 4 today but I forgot about the school improvement team so I am going to quickly get my room ready for tomorrow I have some papers that I'm going to take home to grade and I need to lay out morning work and change the lunch and breakfast choices. Since I'm in a hurry, I'm going to jump off here and get my things ready for tomorrow and head out the door since Paisley has gymnastics. Go ahead and click on the thumbs up button down below this video to let me know that you liked it. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. I am getting so close to 100, so thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking my videos. Make sure to check out other videos that I've put up for you guys, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!